So today's topic is self-transformation. The purpose of all spiritual practices is self-transformation. And Baba also told us, what I want from you is your self-transformation. What does it mean and why do we need it? So let's take a step back. Let's start with manifestation. I want what I want, but I want it. I'm not getting it. Okay. Number two, I'm stuck someplace in my life. I know I don't want to be stuck here. I want to unstuck myself. I don't know how to unstuck myself. Three, negative thoughts and feelings. Who doesn't have negative thoughts and feelings? Sometimes those negative thoughts and feelings, we all know they are negative. We all know they are not beneficial. Yet, we're not able to pull ourselves out of that kalugara, of that dark black hole. I know I don't want to be here, I know it's negative, and I don't know how to come out. Next, so-called bad habits. I have this bad habit of whatever, whether it is eating sugar, are consuming unhealthy. I know I shouldn't be doing it, but I don't know how to stop. I don't know how to break thus this bad habit. We call it patterns. Another question that often comes and very, very relevant, mind versus heart. When we let our mind drive our lives, it ruins it. It, it, it ruins our lives. And the question comes, how do I make a switch from the mind to the heart? How do I let my heart drive it? Or how do I listen to the voice of my heart? And so forth. And the next one. People around the world travel to places and visit many gurus and listen to many YouTube videos and go to various programs, whether it's leadership programs or self-transformation programs or inspirational programs, and we spend our money, thousands of dollars, all worth it, by the way, to create a change in our lives and to connect to the God source or the source energy within us. How do we do it? Applications are many. It all boils down to a singular phrase, self-transformation. And we have all the tools. We have all the tools. They don't come from the conscious mind. By thinking, you cannot change yourself. Because if that was the case, you would have done it a long time ago. You know what's right for you, what's wrong for you, yet you're not able to come out of this you cannot break this cycle because you cannot do it with your conscious mind. Why? Because it is happening at the subconscious mind level. And that's where the Phyllis Crystal Method comes into play, which deals with the subconscious mind. Because the language of the subconscious mind is images or symbols, and that's exactly what the Phyllis Crystal Method does. How do I connect with my true self? How do I connect with the God within? There you go. Maple, tree. How do I not allow other people to control me? Figure eight. And just the being myself meditation alone, just the being myself meditation alone, just the being myself meditation alone has everything within it. All I have to do is to be myself and everything will flow from there. Everything! All manifestations will flow from there. But there's a freedom of choice. I can choose to be a reaction to my situations or I can be myself. It's my choice. The choice is mine. <laughs> freedom of choice is always there. When the freedom of choice is not there, when the control is there, Divinity is not there. So all these methods and tools we have are free for everyone to... How do you connect? How do you get to your heart level? 
how do you get to your heart level? There's so many ways to do it. We have all the tools. The bhajans alone are one of those tools. Doing bhajans. Bhagatala bhava. Knowing the technique of doing it, doing it with meaning, and doing it with as much feeling as possible. The secret word here and everywhere what we're talking about is the feeling. The more feeling you put it in, more benefits you get. And the benefits are not like 10%, 20%, 40% more. It's exponentially more. Maybe 10 times more, maybe a thousand times more, maybe millions of times more. We don't know that. But that's the difference. And only you can put that feeling into it. Just the Om chanting and going deeper into it. Just the Gayatri Mantra and going deeper into it. It's a meditation by itself. And we have other meditations. Jyoti meditation is one of the most powerful meditations on the planet. Yes, it can heal. Yes, it helps you connect with your true self. We have all the tools available to deal with anything and everything in life including whatever you want to achieve in terms of self-transformation. We have everything. <laughs> Divine Mother has given us everything. Jai Matadi. Feel satisfied, feel confident, feel grateful that we have all the tools in the world that we need and more are coming. More tools are coming. The surrender meditation alone has so much power in it. Stay tuned with yourself. Stay tuned with yourself. Stay tuned with yourself. Jai Matadi.